guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be working on the B18B1 again. Um, so we're going to do a leak down test on the engine to determine what the condition of this engine is. I personally have no idea what the condition of this engine is. The seller told me that this did run at one point in time. I no way of confirming that. I don't know if it runs now. Um, but the reason for this engine being available is because the previous owner of the engine um, upgraded to a GSR motor. So that's all I know. I don't know if this thing even runs or if the condition is any good. Um, so for all I know, I could have wasted my money or I could have gotten a good deal on it. But all I know is from a visual inspection of the engine, we have a B18A1 manifold on here. So that's different from the original B18B1 manifold. I've identified that this engine is from a 1998 um, and there's some cracking on the crank pulley. But the uh, seller did tell me that he's going to help me replace that. So he's going to guess a few others. So he's going to give me another one. So that's a good thing. Uh, um, so I'm not too worried about this crank pulley here. But I do want to know the condition of this engine because I, I want to know what I'm working with. And it's always a hit or miss with used engines. You don't know if it's been really, really bagged on or not. Um, and it is what it is. It's a used engine. You don't have the history behind it. So in today's video, we're going to do a leak down test. The leak down test is going to tell us whether we have any bent valves, a blown head gasket, or worn out cylinders. Um, and yeah, we'll just see. So let's get started. All right, so from first inspection, I pulled out the spark plug cables and I've noticed that there is no spark plugs in any of the cylinders. What that tells me is somebody did a compression test or a leak down test of their own before either selling to me or storing it. Um, I don't know whichever it is, don't have the history behind it, not my motor, I don't really know. So it does kind of uh, give me a red flag because there is no spark plugs in there and I'm wondering why now. Um, so we're going to continue with the test now. What you have to do is first you have to set it to TDC on the compression stroke. So what I've done right now is set it on the non-compression stroke and I'm going to hook up the compression tester just so that you guys hear what it sounds like when it's on the non-compression stroke. So we will be testing basically one, three, four, two. And that's how we want to test it. Same kind of concept when you adjust your valves. So essentially what's happening is the valves have to be completely closed. Um, like, so that's the compression stroke. How you know if you're in the compression stroke is if you're rotating this and you feel air pressure out, you're on the compression stroke. Um, but I've set it on the non-compression stroke just to show you guys. So let's hook up the compression tester and you guys can have a hear of what it sounds like when it's on a non-compression stroke. All right, so you wanna set your compression tester to the set area. So all you do is just pop this down, twist it until it actually sits into that box area there. Um, I've set my compressor to about like 100 PSI or well, 75 PSI about there. Um, and then now we're gonna plug it into this non-compression stroke TDC. And this is what you're gonna hear. As you can see, it's leaking air. So that's not what you want. You want it so that everything is sealed. Right now the valves are open. That's why you hear air coming out from some of the ports. I'm guessing it's from the exhaust port or something like that. So now we want to set it to the correct TDC. And this is what you're gonna hear once you set it to the correct TDC. So let's set that first. So the correct TDC would be that white line or whatever. There's a marking on your crank to show it. So it would be in front of the three dots, essentially on, on the right side of the three dots. Um, and that would be your TDC at the compression stroke. Now let's plug in our compression test, I mean our leak down tester. But first things first is we gotta zero this again. There you go, it's zeroed up. Now we're going to plug it in. As you can see, not much sound or hissing. Now this is showing me a roughly about 40%, close to 40% of leakage, which is actually pretty good for, you know, um, cylinder one. So let's try that again, just to double confirm. Yep, it's just under the 40% mark, uh, the green area here. Um, 
and you can hear that it's leaking a little bit of air, which is, is what it's showing. It's showing about 40% of leakage. Now, where the air is leaking from is from the crankcase, so it does show that the piston rings or the piston walls are actually a little worn, so which is kind of normal because you know they wear out over time. Um, but we don't have any bent valves on cylinder one, which is a good sign. <clears throat> now we're gonna do um, cylinder three. So what you, what you need is an extension because you need to set cylinder three at TDC now. So you will rotate the crank until the um, extension comes all the way up. to see what the leakage is. Again, it's below 40%, which is a good sign. And it's also, I hear the leakage coming from the crankcase. So again, warm pistons, but no bent valves. Now we're gonna do cylinder four and then finish off with cylinder two. Again, under 40%. But this one is leaking from the exhaust. So we have some bent valves here. Or the valve is just not fully seating. But it is losing air here. Yeah. Just the exhaust. That kind of, that's a bummer. Um, now let's do the final cylinder. All right, that's zeroed out. Plug it in. So this one is crankcase. Just the crankcase. Yep, so that's just in the crankcase for cylinder two. Now we'll rotate it all the way again and retest cylinder four. Um, but just seeing that the air's escaping from the exhaust port here, it kind of tells me that the uh, valve is the issue here. Yeah, it's around 40% leakage. And there's Definitely air coming out here. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So, until we actually pull it all apart, we don't know if the valve is fully bent or if it's just carbon buildup or whatnot. All right, there you go, guys. Um, we've done the leak down test. We know cylinders one through three are fine. Uh, cylinder four has some leakage in the exhaust valves. Um, it could be a burnt valve, it could also be, um, you know, the head needing regrinding, or maybe the valves just need to be relapped. But either way, we know there's an issue with cylinder four, and it's from the valves. Um, kind of sucks. Really hoping that that wasn't going to be the case, but it is what it is. We're still going to be tearing this thing apart and doing an overhaul on it. So, you know, we'll fix the issue when the time comes. Hopefully, it's fixable. Um, and not too much machining is required, or any machining, hopefully. Uh, I'm praying that it doesn't need any machining, but it seems like the head gasket is okay. Um, and obviously we're expecting the piston rings areas to be a little bit warm, which is what's shown about the 40% leakage. So this is a combination here on cylinder four. It's a combination of leaking from the exhaust valves as well as from the crankcase. Oh, it is what it is, I guess. Anyways, I hope this video helps you guys out. Uh, if you haven't already, please comment, like, and subscribe, and share my videos. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.